Freedom, spirit, power. There is no freedom. There is no power without spirit in the middle of it. This is a video for generations X, Y, Z, and millennials. I'm going to try to so you, tell you the super secrets so you understand where you live in time. No people in world history has had more misinformation shoved at them at a faster rate than your generations. Like drinking water from a fire hydrant. I want you to spend 15 minutes and let me give you a true history of the world that will help you understand the world you live in. Here's a secret very few people know and understand. God knows the future and has told it to man. Lucifer has stolen his knowledge and technology from heaven and given it to man. You believe man is smart and has figured out created technology. This is the blue pill, false paradigm, lie, BS, normalcy bias. So let's go back to number one, proof of one. In 530 BC, God gave Daniel a vision of the whole history of the world in a statue. And the final kingdom, our time, your time, has feet of iron and clay mix. Okay, what's that got to do with you? Iron machinery, that's pretty easy to understand. What about clay? Clay is the word for Adam. Adam, man, and iron mixed together. That is transhumanism. That is their goal they're working at right now with technology. They believe that they can mix with machines and never stand before God in judgment. That's a blue pill. They will not avoid the judgment. They will stand before the living God in judgment. That's the red pill. Notice the feet of clay mixed with iron. This is the last kingdom. This is where you now live and exist. Man has stolen his knowledge and technology from heaven. <clears throat> So let's look at some proof of two. Let's go into the ancient world first. Enoch is a book that was part of the Bible in the King James era. Enoch was a man who was seventh from Adam. He lived from 3284 BC to about 3017 BC. His name means one who came to teach humanity. The book of Enoch is cited by Jesus in the Bible, mentioned in the book of Jude, and copies have been found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Enoch describes an incursion of the angels, or children of heaven, in great detail, and it parallels Genesis 6 of the Bible. Thou sees what Azazel has done, has taught all unrighteousness on the earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were in heaven. Taught men to make swords, shields, and breastplate, as well as secrets of metallurgy. There was no stone age. Semjaza taught enchantments, root cuttings. Aramos taught resolving enchantments, Baraha, astrology, Kokobel, constellations. If you want to have some fun, search these names on YouTube or a search and a search engine. Let's go back to Azazel. Taught men to make swords as well as secrets of metallurgy. One of the most difficult items to make today is a sword. It has to have extreme hardness on the edge to withstand hitting other swords and still be sharp. It also has to have incredible flexibility to bounce back after striking and not become brittle and break when it strikes things. We have discovered archaeologically in this world swords that we cannot duplicate today. Those are the secret metallurgies from heaven. 
So what happened? God was angry at Azazel. The Lord said to Raphael, bind Azazel hand and foot, cast him into the darkness, and make an opening in the desert. Place upon him rough and jagged rocks, and let him abide there forever, and cover his face that he may not see light. The Lord said to Michael, Go bind Sinjaza and his associates have united themselves with women in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth. It's about time for these to be released. Technology is the battleground here on this planet. From the earliest ages between Lucifer and mankind, not from God and Lucifer. Also know that the true and living God punished them for their actions. They would not repeat the same way again. Lucifer is smart and has learned new ways to give man technology. You are especially gifted the XYZ millennial generation and you are chosen to live in this time. Some of you have met amazing how you discern the spirits behind things in movies, in books, in people's texts. Amazing. You are chosen, you are special, and you are gifted. You are about to see and do things that no other generation has done. Just knowing that you're chosen and gifted will give you power. Man is smart, figured out, created technology. Let's go into that. Actually, technology is hidden secrets that were in heaven. God punished the theft, he will again. Just go through a couple examples. Pyramids of Giza. Giza power plant, this is called. It is an electrical generating system. All they had to do was collect the energy from the outside skin down to the water table, intercept it, put in a battery. That's what's been found near the batteries. This is from 3000 plus BC. Batteries next to the pyramids. What did they have that needed a battery in the Stone Age? This truly was not primitive. They had technology before the flood of Noah that took batteries to operate. One of the people that really pushed things far and got revelation far above his time was Leonardo da Vinci, working drawings of helicopters and whatnot. If he had told that he had visitors give him these visions or they came to him in his sleep, he would have been stoned or killed as a heretic or a witch. But not so the time of Nikola's Tesla. He's about 1910. He tells of his experience of two beings that came in his sleep and gave him visions of his works in complete and working detail. He pushed electrical and electronics further than anyone in his time. We still feel the ripples. AC power in your home is only one. Weather manipulation is another. Adolf Hitler. He pursued a great passion all over the world. All the religious information he could get and hidden technology. He gave us jets. He gave us rockets. Adolf Hitler was months away from a nuclear bomb. All his scientists were brought to the U.S. in Operation Paperclip and ran the Manhattan Project. Within years, we bombed Japan. Area 51 UFO crash. Fits well, Lucifer's learning how to share technology. If I'm right, he crashed his own craft and his workers so man could learn all the technology from the craft. Not long after this, we went from tubes and black and white TVs in our, pic in our homes to solid state color TVs with chips and electronics. The computer age had begun. 
Today, Silicon Valley elite seek out hidden information in technology using DMT. DMT is an entrance into the unseen realms, heavens, or dimensions. All the major militaries have tested this. It is provable that beings encountered are common to the groups. And even if they're kept separate, they tell the same story. Beings say things like, you should not be here. Or ask, why are you here? Think about the Matrix. Their bodies were left behind and they went into the Matrix. This is trans-dimensional. But they were susceptible, their body, they could die in either dimension and it resulted in death in the other. That's probably true. The recent example for Facebook's two AI computers should startle everyone. In days, they had their own language to go around the humans that were overseeing them. CERN's computer system is even more troublesome. CERN's computer system is advertised to push its raw data into other dimensions and it returns process. The goal is to hold open a portal for beings to transverse. Hold open a portal. No telling what's coming through. It will not be pleasant. Here's some rules I want you to grab hold of and understand that the world operates on. The dark side have to tell us what they're going to do. They do it all the time in movies. Think Hunger Games. That's one of their goals. They can make other catastrophes in movies to obfuscate what they're going to do. And they work as cover to hide their real plans and agendas. Movies tell us what they're going to do, for sure. The true and living God sets the rules and ministers them in this world. He has a court system outside of this dimension, or heaven. Psalms of Asaph in the Bible will tell you about such courts. We see from the earliest ages, the fallen has sought to give man technology, especially how to kill. The topical red pill is rejecting the false history of primitive man. And technology not intended for man has a price now and in the future. Power is in the spiritual realm. Choose today your side. Get fully in. That means committed unto death. Learn as fast as you can the high truth from God. Here's some of my suggested teachers. Dr. Michael Lake. Gene Cunningham, Dr. Michael Heiser, Dr. Tom Horn. Now, I want you to think about this world like a chess game. Pawns in the middle ground are sacrificed to protect the greater pieces. Don't be a pawn to live and die for nothing. All men are born at the pawn level of the dark side and switch sides at faith in Jesus. Promotion to higher pieces is by merit, learning is special, and revelation increases at promotion. Higher level pieces have greater value, and so do their offspring. They are more targeted. There is no freedom, there is no power.